Hi everyone, I thought I might update you what I've been doing for the last three days, which was a very silly project, but it was quite fun to make, and I think you may, I've actually learned quite a lot from this. So while I talk, I'll first turn on the power supply. This is a 9 volt power supply, so you can also get the flashy lights while I'm talking. Basically what I did was I took this remote controlled car, which I had since I was 10, I sort of destroyed the piece of my childhood by taking it, disassembling the remote controller, hooking it up to this programmable chip, and a switch, which I'll explain in a minute what it actually does. So basically what we do is we get the 9 volts power supply, uh, we split it with this uh, chip, it's called 7805, it's a regulator, it basically takes anything and turns it into 5 volts, which is good because it's what the, these chips operate on, so I have 9 volts here and 5 volts here. After we take the 5 volts, we well we take 9 for the remote controller, we also take 5 volts for this, uh, it's called a PIC, it's a programmable chip, there are quite a, lot of, uh, quite a lot of other chips which can be used and mostly on the internet if you tell someone you have a PIC they actually tell you get an AVR and when you tell them that you've paid a lot of money for a programmer they tell you then get an AVR because the programmers are cheaper. So anyway, this uh, PIC runs C and I can actually show you the program that's uh, burnt onto the chip, flashed onto the chip, and I used uh, this uh, ID to encode it, it's called PICLAB, PIC with a K because it's a KDE app, and unfortunately the code here is proprietary, it uh, runs off, the compiling runs off a wine emulation, and I hope to fix that when I figure out how SDCC works, because there are no uh, code examples available easily, at least I can't find any. Anyway, after you uh, take this code and you turn it into uh, actually uh, code you can actually flash on a chip, a hexadecimal file, um, you can, I actually use this programmer, which unfortunately, unfortunately cost me like $50, which is quite a lot for these things. Um, I'm sure you can find it cheaper. I connect the pick here and flash it and that's the program that's running on here the program basically what it does is it sends a signal on two ports of the chip which uh, as you can see flush the LEDs on and off here every second but they don't only go through the LEDs the signal that comes here which is a 2.5 volt signal goes to this switch which uh, basically takes the signal and can close and open circuits with it um, if you're wondering what else is on this uh, on this board, well, these LEDs just tell me that the power is running on and off, and it is, is running on, which is good because it tends to fall all the time. There are a whole lot of resistors here just to make uh, things running. The uh, big uh, silver thing here is a quartz crystal. It basically gives a timer to the chip so it can actually count. And I'm going to move on to the, the pick is, by the way, called 16F84, that's the part number. It's a very old chip, but apparently that's the only thing that the stores sell here. And it's a very cheap chip. Anyway, so I'll move on to this uh, uh, chip. It, I think its number is 4066. And as I said, it basically takes the two signals, and you can actually maybe see the two cables that are running to it. And when it gets a signal, it opens and closes the circuit and the circuits are basically the uh, remote control circuits. Uh, I can basically go forward and backwards here and I didn't hook in the left and right and that shouldn't be hard, it's just to replicate what I've done here. So I'm going to actually turn this thing on and show you what it does. So here we go. Uh, let me turn the, ca the car on and you can see already it's getting the signal from the remote controller and if I let it go, it'll do this. Now, I know it's not a very useful thing to do with the car, but uh, first of all I've learned how to actually build this, and I could really code anything into the chip and it will follow any directions I, I tell it. So maybe hopefully in a few days it will actually bring me coffee to my room when I wake up, although I don't like coffee. So that's all for now, and I hope you enjoy this, and uh, if you really want to know any more about how I did this, then please contact me. Bye-bye.